Hi, this is the uh, table that shows how much sugar you have depending on the specific gravity from your hydrometer reading. I've uh, put a couple of still photos um, on this, hopefully on one of these videos, so that you can look at it at your leisure by pausing your um, video. But I think this is a fairly standard um, uh, scale, and uh, I think my my starting for just the grapes was zero five zero, which is around here, and would have been about oh zero five five, I think it was, and it was so it would have been about uh, six point five or no, 7.2% alcohol by volume. <coughs> uh, that's what it started and I added um, I needed to take the difference between the 0 055, 1055 from 1099 which is the 1090 is the starting uh, for wine. So either side of that by a couple of degrees is fine or even higher I guess um, so you have to make up the difference in sugar by deducting one from the other to give you how much sugar you need um, so I think I needed about three pounds of sugar to make up the difference between um, 7.2% and 12 percent and this is per gallon so I had it's actually was about 15 ounces I think was 15 ounces per gallon of sugar so you had times that by three because I had three gallons so I just said a pound 16 ounces is the, is the pound so I said three pounds of sugar <coughs> so my final after a week um, it used up, it was quite surprising, it used up all the sugar for the week. Six days or seven days, I left it an extra day. And my hydrometer reading specific gravity on the seventh day was at zero one zero, right at the bottom of the chart. So it used all of that sugar. Um, so I had two... That was my reading, zero one one zero one zero rather, and that is only two ounces of sugar per gallon, so six ounces of sugar. <clears throat> so when I put it in the carboy, or before I put it in the carboy, I had to add um, the difference between that two ounce and the zero, uh, the two two point eight, two pounds eight ounces per gallon so that should have been about seven or eight pounds of sugar uh, but you have to add water you have to heat water to melt your sugar uh, to incorporate it and every time you add water you're also uh, weakening your solution so I ended up with probably another two gallons of extra fluid in amongst my grapes, mostly sugared water. So that was a surprise. So to get it to get it before I could get to get it to the zero one zero nine zero, I had to actually add twelve pounds of sugar. Um, and you do that slowly. And the surprise to that also is that once you boil water and add sugar to it, uh, get it all dissolved. It takes forever to cool down so you have to put it I what I was doing was putting it, it in the fridge to cool it down because you don't want to mix uh, you want it at room temperature when you mix it back to your grape juice so that was a surprise for me but uh, anyway um, so yeah it was 12 pounds of sugar which seemed an awful lot, but it, it had used up the sugar in primary f 
fer fermentation, primary fermentation, uh, pretty much all of it. <laughs> so anyway, so you have to bring it back up to the 12% and 12% is important because that um, makes the wine keep better. If you have it too weak, uh, it won't keep very long. The more alcohol you have in your wine, the longer it will store for and the better it will be taste wise uh, and also I think there's a risk of um, bacteria if you don't have enough alcohol in there so that's the main reasons for having the starting at 12 percent I guess it's a proven figure anyway that was uh, this is just to, to show you the table and kind of how you use it. I probably haven't explained it very well, but uh, um, I think it's fairly self-evident. And I, I got my information and this table from a, a how-to website, which I will add the link to, so you can see how and where I got my information to make this wine. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.